Sunday, so let's yo what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can do this insane and unique effect in sony vegas pro it's definitely got some things i haven't seen people use in the past so i highly recommend you watch the whole video all the way through so you don't miss out on anything and in addition to this i am also going to be giving away a free preset to make this video so much easier i'm going to show you how you can access this preset and use it for 100 percent free so stick around for that just before we get into the video guys please can you do me a super quick favor literally just take like a few seconds out of your day to just like this video and turn on post notifications if you guys do turn on my post notifications you could be featured in my next video like these people on screen so i highly suggest you invest a few seconds out of your day just to go ahead subscribe with post notifications on drop a like on the video and just comment something like noti gang in the description so i know you have notifications on come and join the best notification gang on youtube trust me you won't regret it I drop insane highlight videos and tutorials all the time just like this so you won't be missing out on that. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so as always the first thing you want to go ahead and do is just get your clip in and your song of choice. Then you want to go ahead and roughly sync it up. So what you need to go ahead and do is find where the shield crack on the opponent happens. So that would be around here. Once you've found that, you want to mark up the main beat drop of your song. So in my case it's right here as you can see. Then you just press M on your keyboard to create a marker and then you can put the shield crack right there. Then you want to drag it to an appropriate length depending on your specific montage, that's up to you. And yeah. Now we're going to right click, insert, remove envelope, velocity, add a point right here, then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 frames to the left, add another point here, go to the middle on the marker again, go 1 to the right and add a point about 3 quarters in. Put this to 50% and then put this to 300 or 200% depending on your personal preference. So that right there is basically your velocity done and your clip perfectly synced. Super, super easy and simple to do. Next thing you want to go ahead and do is find where you want to add your effect on the kill and where you want to add your pre-effect. So you want to go one frame to the left and split the clip. On this section right here is where we're going to be adding the effect on the kill, which is where the free preset will come into play that I'll show you later. And then you want to go around roughly around 30-ish frames it doesn't have to be exact but i'm just going to say in this sort of scenario around here is good because this is where the weapon pullout is so just before the weapon pullout or about where the shotgun is raised upwards i would say is a decent interval so i'm going to go ahead and split the clip again this does vary for different sort of clips but just find where you think the perfect place is to put a pre-effect if you're not sure i would move 30 frames back from this point here Alright, so now that you've gone ahead and identified where you have your pre-effect and your effect after the kill, we're going to start applying some things onto the pre-effect to actually make it work. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is search BCC Damage TV and drag and drop the default version on. Then you want to go ahead and copy my settings right here. So make sure that you copy all of these. I'm just going to open these up. Some of them are already default, so you won't have to worry about them, but some of them are changed, I believe. I'm not quite sure off the top of my head, but... Uh, you can go ahead and copy these ones down these are the main ones right here so make sure to go ahead and copy these i know these ones are definitely changed let's go ahead and copy that right there and the rest you should be good with so now that you've gone ahead and done that what you need to go ahead and do is turn the c down to zero hit keyframe and then open up the video go to the end right here and just put this up to 10 and then now what we need to go ahead and do is where we split the clip here we want to fade in the previous one so just fade that in when it goes to 0.1 or about 0.8 to 0.1 is good and that's basically going to mean so that the tv damage is going to slowly fade in like that and then we can have our clip right there so the next effect we're going to be going ahead and applying is s underscore hue sat bright and you just want to go ahead and drag and drop the default version on go to your saturation go to the start of the clip and put this at one go to the end of the clip and put this all the way down to zero and that is just basically going to desaturate and take all of the colour out of the clip or most of the colour right there, just like that. Alright guys, so the next effect we're going to be adding for the pre-effect is going to be S underscore film damage. You want to go ahead and drag and drop the default version on and turn all of the intervals to zero except for seed. Then we're going to go ahead and go to the dust density. You want to keyframe it at the start and then go to the end and put this up to about 20. Hit enter and that will add some dust particles to your clip and really help enhance the build up then on film damage what we want to go ahead and do is put the vignette darkness all the way down to zero keyframe this go to the end of the clip and put this to about 0.7 or 0.8 whatever's up to, uh, it's up to you 
but uh, basically what that's going to do is bring in a bit of darkness around the corners and really help build up the clip to the main point right there. Right guys, so now that you've gone ahead and done the pre-effect as I've just previously shown, we can now actually get on to accessing and applying the free preset that I'm going to be providing in today's video. Now in order to access this preset, all you have to go ahead and do is go to the first link in description. It will ask you to do three super easy and simple steps that will only take maximum a minute, probably only 30 seconds. All you have to go ahead and do is follow my Twitter, join the Discord link in description, which you will have to do anyways, so you can use that link or the link in description go ahead and join that and then you want to go ahead and like the video attached it takes about 30 seconds and i really do appreciate it and it will give you access to this free preset now the reason why i asked to join my discord is because you want to go ahead and join that go into the preset manager section and download this file right here and that is basically sony vegas's free preset manager the reason why i've got it in my discord by the way is to make it a lot easier because there's some definitely sketchy things online when you search it up so this is just going to make it super super easy for you guys to download and it's a lot smaller file so once you've gone ahead and done that you just want to go and search preset manager and open it up now you're going to be greeted with this usually your free preset which you would have downloaded from the link in description will be in a download section but i've just moved it to the desktop to show you guys this a bit easier all you want to go ahead and do is drag it and drop it in there double click on this and click on fx chains and drag that into system presets I was going to ask me if I want to overwrite it because I actually made this preset and it's already on my PC and in Vegas. But don't worry about that. That won't come up for you guys. You can just, it will do it. Then you can just click off and it will be in your Vegas. Now to actually use it, what you want to go ahead and do is go to the clip where we wanted the afterkill effect to be. You want to click on effects and then this is going to slowly load up. You just want to wait for this to quickly load up. And what you're going to find in filter packages it may be, I just have all of my own presets sorted out into this section right here to make it easy to access. You're going to go ahead and find the rainbow effect. All you have to do now is click OK by selecting it and there you go. The whole effect is applied for you guys already, all animated and it looks so so clean. It's super easy to do and you can do this whenever you want to use this effect so it really makes editing highlight videos so much quicker. So yeah guys, that's basically the whole effect right there. I really hope you did enjoy the video and it did help you in some way. If it did help you, please can you do me a really quick favour by just dropping a like and subscribing to the channel with post notifications on. It really does mean a lot. If you would like to go the extra mile to support the channel, then you can just use code Taro in the item shop. Again, that also does mean a lot to me and it really is appreciated. But yeah, that is the whole video there. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one boys. Peace.